compressor. So like that. And the last thing we have to do is cover it. Now we gotta wait five minutes and start steaming. Wow, steam pretty fast. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been here in Thekiri, Kerala, India. Right now we're in the Tiger Reserve. We're about to go inside to see the lake. Then after this we're gonna go have some delicious breakfast and then I'm gonna bathe an elephant. All right, let's go inside. When you come into Tekiri, you have to go into the Tiger Reserve. It costs 500 rupees per foreigner and 20 rupees for the bus ride. The bus ride takes around 20 minutes to get all the way inside. And there are a lot of different activities you can do here. You can go on a boat ride, you can go trekking, and you can go to the lake. What we're doing this morning is going straight to the lake because we don't really have time to go trekking and go on the boat ride. But we're gonna see the lake, we're gonna see how this uh, how the reserve looks, obviously. And if you wanna come see tigers, you can do that as well. The only problem is you should come here multiple days to go see a tiger because it's not so easy. Obviously, wildlife, you know, is like really, really difficult, and tigers are even harder than if you're going somewhere in Africa where there's a lot of, you know, big five. Here, they told me like they, they see one a year if they see that, you know, depends. Depends how many times you get to get really lucky. By the way, my guy, Evan, he's super famous here. <laughs> Evan, you're getting recognized non stop, dude. Oh, because I do Malayalam videos, they know they, they easily recognize me, and that's good actually. We get help everywhere, and they're very friendly too. David, so you can see we, we are in the Tegri Lake and you can see the wild wild goat, uh, Indian goat. It's like buffalo but it's not buffalo. But people call it as wild buffaloes. Anyway, if you are going for boating, we will see, we will spot elephants, wild uh, Indian goats. Uh, we'll also spot antelopes if you're lucky, tigers. David, if you're interested to go for nature walk, you can go here. It's 1,400 rupees whether you are a foreigner or an Indian. It's the same price, two and a half hours of walk. You may see many animals, but I doubt about tigers. David, I think you are very hungry. Let's go for breakfast. After that, we'll go for some other activities. Now, we are not going for boating now because we do not have that much time. Come. But what are we eating for breakfast? String hopper. String hoppers? You, have you ever tried that before? I think one time. It's Indian noodles. <laughs> How many tigers are there in this reserve? There are a total of 35 as per the last census, I you know. We have 922 square kilometers. Wow. Just 35. So, I mean, it's really rare to see them. Best time, probably morning and afternoon. But how do you go see them on a jeep? Safari or what? You have jeep safari, you have jungle walk. You can stay overnight in the jungle. Jungle oh, camps can? are there. Yeah. Oh, wow. awesome. Night trekking is uh, also you can go for bamboo up. If you are really lucky, you will spot a tiger. But anyway, tigers will spot you. Oh, that's why you for sure. <laughs> You're the prey. <laughs> Back to the hotel? Back to the hotel. Wood Note Hotel. The best hotel in Tegeli. Here we go, Wood Note Hotel. We're going to the Drizzle restaurant to see how they make the string hoppers. And besides string hoppers, there's also a curry or what is it? Yeah, chicken stew. Chicken stew? Yeah, let's go directly to the restaurant. Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, man. I would like some spice though this morning. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll, we'll so, grab some pepper. Some bird, <laughs> bird eye pepper. <laughs> Alright, we're entering the kitchen now. Yeah. Gotta put on my little hair piece. We don't want any of my hairs in anybody's food. <laughs> you don't have any hair? <laughs> <laughs> this is pakwan. Pakwan is made with uh, peanut, uh, peanut flour. Okay. So it's like puri, fluffy, but the flour is different. So it's very similar to puri, very fluffy, crispy, but the flour is different. Wow, it looks amazing. I'm gonna have to try one of those too. And here we have Corona Dosa, so we gotta flip them, right? Woo! I messed that one up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm destroying them. I'm sorry, my man. I'm not a chef. So you're gonna. Are they done? Yeah? Ah, Okay, throw it in there. <laughs> David, uh, these, this is cinnamon, you know that. You know? And this one is uh, star ani. Star ani is a major ingredient for Kerala biryani. At the same time, we are going to use this for uh, chicken stew. It will give a nice fragrance. Try this one. It's a nice fragrance. Oh wow, it's really nice. 
very nice. I've actually never seen this before. First time. Chicken stew is a modified version of English stew uh, that we are making here. Kerala. When it comes to Kerala, we have to have some fusion with Kerala. absorbs the chutney. Mm. Mm. The chili just gave out a little bit of heat. Wow. This is like my go-to every day in Southern India. Is there something about pairing Kona chutney with a nice doughy dosa? And these dosas are again are a little different. They're not so crispy like the tamana do. More fluffy. Love this man. The chef is now making string hoppers, which are Indian noodles. And the way it works is very easy, right? So he puts dough into this presser, and then he comes over here, and on steamer, he throws coconut, and then presses the noodles out. He does it one layer, covers it, another layer, and then he covers it completely, and then he waits five minutes until you see the steam coming out. Once the steam's done, they're ready, he pulls them out. Now it's my turn to make string hoppers. So I'm gonna put a little bit of coconut oil, right? A little bit on each. All right, a little bit. Then we get the coconut. Enough, right? Not too much, not too little. And then, there you go, presser. So like that. Done, right? Yeah. So I cut it. I don't even know how you're supposed to cut it. And then you, again, you put a little more coconut there, there, there. Boom. 
coming in oil. Oh, it's a that one. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm doing here. Coconut? Just enough. Put too much oil. I know, I did put too much oil, it's fine. Now, put the string hoppers. Woo! Find the steam. And that is it. So then, last thing is to do, get a little more coconut. And the last thing we have to do is cover it. Now we gotta wait five minutes and start steaming. Wow, it's steaming pretty fast. Here we have it, the string hoppers. Ooh, they look good. All right, right there. Wow, look at this. Oh my God, look at the coconut. And the coconut uh, milk right there. Yeah. Incredible. And then here we have the chicken. Chicken stew. Chicken stew, it looks so like buttery. Whoa, look at this. Wow, look at that. Big chunks of chicken, super creamy, coconut milk throughout. Well, this looks incredible. And here we have the string hoppers. As you can see, lots of noodles, basically, with coconuts throughout, coconut shades. And then we have the coconut milk right here. Mm. It's like you're drinking, like, like they took out the inside, the meat, right? And they turned it into like a, a milk, right? David, string hoppers is best with beef, chicken, egg for me, okay? But traditionally, you can eat this one with coconut milk. So pour a bit of coconut milk. String hoppers is best with chicken, beef, mutton, stew. Okay. That's my best. Okay. <laughs> okay. But traditionally, we can eat it with coconut milk. This is coconut milk. It's creamy. And you add a bit of sugar. Sugar. Just sweeten it. Sweet it. A bit of I feel like the coconuts are already sweet, but but it's extra sweet. Yeah, extra sweet. We I know. are Indians. We love sweet, extreme, spicy, extreme. Oh my god, that's sour, sour extreme. <laughs> <laughs> sour extreme. So just mix it. Mix it. Just mix together. it that. Yeah. All of them. All of, all of it. All yeah. of it. All perfect. Okay. The sugar is for the entire thing. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a whole pack of sugar in one little go. Okay, and then? Then take how much you need to right. eat. Yeah. Okay. And, and straight away to your mouth. It's so sweet. Mm. Love the noodles. Super thin noodles, very soft. The coconut milk. It really does like bind it all together, but then you have this like burst of sugar. Lots of extremes here, but really good. A little more, right? This one doesn't have any milk or sugar. Yeah. And then I go over here and I grab some of the chicken, put it right on top. Yeah. Like that. I would actually put a little more of this delicious creamy coconut. So we gotta add a little more, right? Yeah. And then mix it. Yes. Wow. The stew, the smell, the aroma is like hitting my nose. And then I break off a little bit of chunks of chicken, right? Yeah. So we're supposed to like tear it apart. Ooh. Boiled chicken. Hmm. Hmm. This is a very unique dish. It's sweet. This cardamom. This cinnamon. Curry leaf and chicken. Mmm. Mmm. All that with coconut milk. Super creamy. Extremely creamy. Oh, but it's a great combination with these noodles. Guys, I'm in love with this. I have to get a little more. Same thing. This time I'm just gonna get purely the coconut sauce. Like, just like, that's stew. Wow, look at that. So I've had string hopper before once in Sri Lanka. It's a little different though. Here they mix it with all this non-veg, right? There, I'm pretty sure it was just straight veg. Mm. The best comparative is this is like a sweet coconut creamy pasta. 
Do you know the name of this one in Kerala? Uh, I think it's only Appam. Yeah, there are different types of Appam here. And this is Idi Appam. Idi Appam. Idi means punch. Punch Appam? <laughs> yeah. Hey man, it's packed with a punch. What a phenomenal dish, man. And I haven't tried it yet. I mean, I'm surprised. Is this like a rare thing? Like it's not like common everywhere? Probably just have to go to a restaurant that specializes in it or has it on the menu, right? Yes. Because this is actually a la carte. Right now it's like breakfast, they have buffet, but I ordered this a la carte. Mm. I am like a die-hard coconut fan. From Miami, I eat coconut every day. Drink it, eat the flesh, give me coconuts. David, I love this so much because it's soft. It's easy going for a breakfast, especially. When it is with stew, there's no other alternative better than this. So add plenty of stew, that gravy. Just break a piece of chicken, small piece, and mix it properly. All of them, all of them, let it go. Then add the chicken piece and the noodles, idiopum, together. Mm. Oh, creamy, sweet, and the taste that we are getting here is from Star Annie, as well as coconut milk. That coconut milk gives that sweetness. Star Annie's flavor, and also cinnamon. I have to say, this is my favorite, favorite thing to have for breakfast now. Wow, this is better than dosa. Straight up, yeah. this is way better. I don't even need the chicken. I mean, the chicken's good, but just getting the coconut taste, the sweetness. I mean, the noodles absorb it so well out of this. It's just like a good ball. Wow. Hey, my favorite. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So tasty. Mm. Coconut milk. Breakfast was phenomenal, but now we're off to bathe with the elephants. I'm actually gonna bathe an elephant. The elephant's gonna bathe me. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're about to see it right now. I'm super excited. Guys, oh. Tusker Trail, it's an elephant safari center. Here we can see elephant, uh, the elephant bath and all. And we can take pictures with the elephant, and here that is. Wow. <laughs> and here we are. We just entered, and there's an elephant right there. Beautiful. Here at Tusker Trails, they have different activities you can do. The one I'm doing is the one that I'm bathing the elephant. So all I'm doing is bathing it, and then it's also gonna put its trunk on top of my head and soak me. It better. Morning. This is a ride, normal ride. Uh -huh. A 15 to 20 minute track in the plantation. Oh, okay. This is 500 rupees per person. This one is bath shower. 1200 rupees per person. Plants and there are coffee beans. Some of them are ripe. You can see, yeah. You see? Wow, coffee beans, huh? So do they, do they produce coffee here? Yeah, like, yeah. like actual coffee that I can drink? Yes. Yeah. You get good coffee, good tea, cardamom. We'll see cardamom plants as well. And even cardamom seeds. Yeah, cardamom plants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this place just grows everything. Yeah. <laughs> They're not so good, but still we have seeds here. Small ones. Mostly people do not know that cardamom seeds are coming from the bottom of the tree. And that was cardamom and these are pepper. The green pepper. After process, black pepper. So, pepper wines. Wow. You want to eat? You want to try one? Yeah, I'll try one. Why not? Oh man. That's like real strong. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Mark was eating like... Holding. <laughs> <laughs> no, mm. don't try it for that. Mm. Hmm? I mean, it's like pure pepper. <laughs> <laughs> we can crush pepper, green pepper, and put over the chicken or fish and grill it. Tasty. Hey, hey buddy.
My turn to bathe the elephant. What a beautiful creature. Gorgeous. What a massive guy. There we go. Alright, so just like that. Wow. Skin is tough. So beautiful. So the best thing to do is, you know, obviously follow the, this guy's instructions. He'll tell you where to go and where not to go. You know, this is a big beast. You don't want to get him mad. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. wow. He's so relaxed. They love being bathed, by the way. They love it. You're here all day doing this. How long did it take him to, to watch him? An hour, at least? Every day, normal. Two, two three, hours? Two, two, two. So you see, touching his, his trunk, he's like <laughs> shaking my hand. <laughs> wow, so big. She wants more, is that what she wants? Does she want water in her, right here? Sometimes. Sometimes, no, she doesn't want right now. Oh, wow, you can feel the air coming out. Wow, you can feel her breath. Oh, look at that. Beautiful animal. You okay? Next up, I'm gonna wash the tail. The tail's super rough. Oh man, I've never seen a tail this close. Look at that. It has like this hair. Ooh, it's like tough hair. What is this? It's like huge whiskers, actually. So like that? It's okay? And always keep wetting, right? Can I see? No problem. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So I can't go into the belly area because it might tickle her, she can get startled, she can move. So they say best thing to do is always go on the back side. And you could see like, you know, different pieces of dirt. There's some animals, like little, I don't know, like little ticks and stuff. I don't know if there's ticks, but it's like little things I'm just scraping off. They're on her, gotta remove them. So what's her name again? Usharani. 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 Thank you for this experience. All right, so we just got the elephant up so we can clean the face, right? So be careful here. The trunk, so massive. Look at this. Wow, look at this, it's like, oh, the skin feels so good. And right here, she has a few spots, a little white area, some black spots. Look at that, I mean, it's huge. And that's it guys, we explored Tekiri. We saw Tekiri Lake. You can go on a boat ride out there. You can go hiking, really beautiful spot. Tiger Reserve. After that, we went back to the hotel and we tried string hoppers. One of my favorite Indian breakfasts of all time. It's basically like pasta, right? And you mix it with the chicken stew. Super creamy, so delicious. And after that, we came here to Tusker Trail and I bathed an elephant. I mean, it's really a unique experience. You guys have to do it when you come here to Tekiri. And if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Tekiri. Whoa! <laughs>